Hey everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we want to take a really quick look at the Google Play website because it's got one really great feature. You can install apps directly to your phone from the web. Uh, it's really slick, so I wanted to give you all, you know, just a quick view of how it's done. It's it's simple, so let's just get in there and do it. Uh, you go to play.google.com on, on any, you know, phone or uh, any computer with a browser, and it'll take you here to this nice little website and I'll have a link you can click to get there and this is where you shop uh, you can shop for music or books or magazines movies and TV Android apps or even devices you can buy Chromebooks or you see here they're selling a white Nexus pretty little phone but what we're interested in is the Android apps because the the books and movies and stuff they, they go to your cloud and they're sitting there waiting for you to stream them down but apps are installed to your phone and that that's a little bit different case and it's neat how it does it. Uh, so, you know, you saw how I did it in the drop down. You just click shop Android apps. And it brings you to the apps home page. And there's, you know, staff picks. And you click the tab. And there's picks for tablets. And come down here. Here's recommended content for, you know, personal recommendations for you. Here's the apps that are trending and the best sellers. Uh, and then over here on the left, you've got your list top new free, top new paid apps. The top money makers, uh, the top free of all time, the top paid of all time. And the neat thing here is categories. You click that, and as you can see, you've got you know a big long list here of different categories you can pick through. So let's just pick one and we'll go personalization. That's kind of neat. Uh, everybody likes to personalize their phone. And it brings you to another little landing page, and you've got two main tabs here. Top paid, you can go through. These are all your paid apps that are available. Or for these purposes, we'll go to top free, and you're given a list of, you know, these are the top apps that other people are installing. We're just going to use the first one. It's Zedge. It's a, you know, puts wallpapers on your phone. Easy way to do it. Lots of nice ones to look through. So we'll click that and brings you to the, the website for the app itself. And you can read about what it does. You can read reviews from other users. You can see what's new in the latest update. And here's an important thing, the permissions. This tells you exactly what the app can do. Full network access, it connects to the internet, modifies your storage, read your contacts so you can share them, uh, read your call log. You know, that that's up to you to decide how much permission you want your apps to have. But the important thing to know is that they're all there for you to read and to install. So, <clears throat> or before you install, so you know exactly what it's gonna do. Another neat thing, you can see people in your contacts that have plus one the app. Uh, you can see Andrew's used it. There's Obi from Crackberry, uh, Justin Carruthers. These people recommended this app, and it shows it to me. So, you know, I know that my friends are using it. Come down and look through the screenshots of the app. Here's just, you know, a few highlights of the reviews. And then related apps are over here on the side. So it's laid out nice and easy for you to see and learn a little bit more about the app. But the really cool thing is this blue button right here, Install. Oh, real quick, it tells you that, you know, this app is not compatible with some of your devices. Well, it's not compatible with Google TV, but it looks to be pretty compatible with phones and tablets. But that's there in case you, you know, you're wondering and you have more than one device. But if you click this blue install button, you get this checkout pop up. And uh, it tells you that you are downloading, and in this case it's the Zedge app, and I want to send it to, and this is my Nexus 4, and if I wanted to send it to a different device, I click that button and there they are in a list, but I'll send it to my Nexus 4. And then one more time, it tells you about the permissions the app might have and gives you you know an opportunity to see all of them. Uh, usually the ones that, I hate to use the word important, but the ones you'll be concerned about, they're, they're shown to you all the time. The network communication, social information, that kind of stuff. If it's gonna attach itself and read those kind of logs and contacts, you're told up front. Make sure you read those, guys. I can't stress that enough. But So I've read them through. I decided, well, I know why it needs to do this. I'm going to install it. The magic happens. I just click this Install button, and then it tells me this app will be downloaded to your device shortly. I click OK, and I'll reach over and grab my Nexus 4. You can't see it, but I do want to get a screenshot, and you can see that the app is installed. That's really cool. I mean, that's a great way to install stuff hands-free I don't even have to be home I can install something at a friend's house and not have my phone with me and when I get home or my tablet it's installed I wanted to make sure you all you know had a chance to see how this works because it I think it's really great 
We're going to talk more about all the great things in Google Play. We'll go through them one at a time. But in the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later. I am out of here.